Hey guys, so in this session, we're gonna be talking about basic vocal care. Now this is probably one of the most vital of these sessions because without it, it'll be a little harder to apply the other information in the sessions to come. So with that, let's jump in. Now, as many of you may know, or will soon find out, singing here at 12 Stone means early mornings on Sundays. So getting your voice ready for that 6 a.m. call time can sometimes be a challenge. So the key is to set yourself and your voice up to win beforehand. And that brings us to our first major key hydration. Drink lots of water. It sounds simple, but it's so easy to forget. You need to have a lot of fluids in your body so that they can hydrate your vocal cords. Now, speaking of vocal cords, do you know how many vocal cords you have? Just two. They sit in our larynx and they vibrate together and create the sound. So with that being said, it is super important to have your vocal cords properly lubricated so that they don't become dry and create vocal strain that will keep you from being able to sing the way you need to. Now, there's a common misconception about drinking water. Most people think that if they have a quick sip of water right before they hit the platform, it's going to immediately hit their vocal cords and lubricate them. And that's false. The truth is that although it may make your mouth less dry, the body is not designed to have water directly hitting your vocal cords. Now, if water was to directly hit your vocal cords, you'd choke. And obviously, that's not good. So, to be able to lubricate your cords with water properly, you'll need to be drinking water hours before you get ready to sing. I myself, I like to go after intentionally hydrating like crazy the day before. This process is called systemic hydration, and that's just getting water throughout your system beforehand. However, if you wanted to get your vocal cords hydrated immediately, you could try something called steaming. Now, steaming can be a super helpful way to get water directly to your cords. This also helps to relax the cords and to get good circulation throughout the vocal cords, and it's super easy to do. See, for me, the day before I like to sing, I do it at home, I do it old school. I boil some water, I get a towel over my head, and I just breathe in the hot steam and allow the steam to properly hydrate my cords. And it also keeps my nasal passages clear. So, no matter what the method is, the goal is to always stay hydrated throughout the day if you want your voice to make it through the day. Another thing, when talking about water, try to stay away from water or liquids that are too hot or too cold. If it's too hot, obviously it can damage your vocal cords. And too cold can restrict your cords and decrease circulation. My advice would be to drink lukewarm water. Or if you wanna heat it up a little bit, that's fine too. Now here's a couple of quick tips to also take into consideration. Try to avoid caffeine on the days that you're going to sing. See, caffeine has been scientifically proven to limit some of the agility of your voice because it tensions the vocal cords. Now all bodies are different and we have different reactions to different things. You know, some people can have caffeinated drinks or coffee and it doesn't seem to bother them. So if it's something that you must have to get you through the day, I would just test it out and see if it causes any issues. Another thing is to monitor your vocal output the day before and definitely on the day you're gonna sing. Simply put, don't yell or scream because that puts unnecessary strain on your vocal cords. Also, when you sing, make sure you're not singing with super breathy tones, right? Too much air separates the cords and eventually dries them out. So you wanna make sure that your vocal cords are connected as possible. And that just means controlling the breath that you use when you sing. Lastly, and probably most importantly, rest, okay? Rest is essential to the performance of your body and especially your voice on the days that you'll be on the platform. See, we often say around here that Sunday mornings begin on Saturday night. So get a good night's sleep so that you can show up rested and ready to go. So we hope that these tips were helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask your coach or your worship pastor at your campus. We'll catch you next time.